So you want to buy a flip phone, but you're afraid that the dust from your pockets might somehow get under the inside screen of this phone and cause some damage. Theoretically speaking, of course, because we all know you have the cleanest pockets in the world. We decided to test it anyway. Not your pockets. These phones. We've been doing this weird live stream for a while now. People are folding flip phones until they break. We're testing the newest Samsung Z Flip 5 and the latest Motorola Razr. We went past 100,000 folds. That's almost three years of using these phones and unfolding them 100 times a day. And 100 times a day is a lot. A regular user would unfold their phone about 60 times a day. And while the Z Flip from Samsung is totally fine, Motorola had some issues with the hinge at roughly 44,000 folds. Now, after 100,000 folds, we decided to put them to the dirty pockets test. Our pockets are bigger than most pockets, definitely dustier and transparent for your convenience. I know that in real life a phone would spend weeks, months even, in a pocket that's way less dirty than our pockets. Pockets. So we had to be a bit more aggressive with the dirt, because we didn't have that much time. We kept the phones in the bags for about two minutes, but it seems to be enough. Listen to the Motorola Razr's hinge now. And to the sound of the Samsung phone. These noises became less and less dreadful with time. But something else caught our attention. Motorola's crease looked a bit different after the dirty pockets test, and there's a dot on the screen indicating that something really small managed to somehow get under that screen. To be clear, this Motorola Razr is IP52 certified. That means ingress of dust is not entirely prevented, but it must not enter in sufficient quantity to interfere with the safe operation of the equipment. That's from Wikipedia, I'm not that smart. Whereas Samsung is uh, IPX8 rated. That means the equipment is suitable for continuous immersion in water under conditions, but we have no information about the dust resistance. That's what the X stands for. And now, due to our experiment, we know that the Motorola Razr isn't meant to be used or stored in a dusty environment. And that this phone might entirely give up much earlier than this phone that doesn't seem to be bothered by any of our activities. 100,000 folds for the Samsung had gone like a breeze. For the Motorola, it's been a hard day's night. And then another one after that. It might not last much longer. But also, it outlived one of our counters, which is dead now and had to be replaced. So everything can happen.